Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, it's a lovely sunny day, and what better way to spend it than inside playing with plastic. Hello everybody, and welcome to another LEGO unboxing, as you can already see, and today we are not doing the biggest set, as last time for LEGOs, we did the biggest set, which was the Giga set, as you can see before you, but we're not doing that, no, we're going on to... What better to do next than the second biggest, which is the T-Rex and the Trosraptor Breakout Set. Did I get it right? Oh, nope, I forgot Dinosaur. Does it really? I don't know why it needs Dinosaur. So, <clears throat> full name, T-Rex and the Trosraptor Dinosaur Breakout Set for LEGO Jurassic World Dominion, the second biggest it is. With 466 pieces, a decent amount for its price, actually. And with it, you get quite a bit. You get two dinosaurs, just like the previous set. Not only do you get one of the Atrociraptors, which I believe is supposed to be Tiger, and you got T-Rex, of course, and you got Owen Grady, Claire Deering, I don't know how to pronounce this, Ran, or is it Rain with two N? I'm gonna say Rain, because you know, I like it. Rain Delacote and Sonia Santos, which, We've seen Rain in actually some TV spots, actually. I'm pretty sure he was in the Malta um, dinosaur pit fights. He was shown fighting Owen, which, God, I don't know how that's going to go for him. Probably going to die. But also, we saw a Lestrosaurus in there, which we don't even have a Lego one of yet. Disappointing. And Sonya, no, Lord knows. We've seen her with the Atrociraptors and the Mattel figures. Like, she's with um, Ghost in that little cage one, but... I don't know what her role is. Maybe she's working for Biosyn. I don't know. But if we just look at this, it shows a bit of Malta's secret and a truck, actually, which is a nice truck, actually. It comes with a little area to put your Atrociraptor in. But if we look at the back of the box, we can see some more things, including how the truck operates, which you can actually take the little cage off, which kind of reminds me of... It kind of looks like the same cages that were in the second trailer that the, all the Atrociraptors were coming out of, so might be what it's supposed to be, though I wish there was a miniature version, or at least I could build one easily, but it would be nice. Then it also shows that you can have the T-Rex sort of like encaged here, even though it could easily break out of there. Look at that. There's no way you could hold it there. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to reference the little cage that we saw the Allosaurus and Carnotaurus in like the second trailer and some of the TV spots coming out of. That's what I can assume, which we don't even have a Lego Carnotaurus or a Lego Allosaurus for this movie. I real I love T-Rex and stuff, but since we already had one in the junior set and we've always gotten T-Rexes, it would have been nice to have like Allosaurus or Carnotaurus or even another new dinosaur that we haven't had yet, even the herbivore even. But, you know, I'm happy to have T-Rex as always, but just saying, could have been even more cool to have something like the Owl Source. But also, we get this strange thing, actually, if we look at the box art for the T-Rex and Atrociraptor size chart. Now, I only noticed this after I was, um, rearranging this and stuff a few weeks ago. But we'll actually need this because there is a little issue with their size charts. Because if we go to the T-Rex, it says that it is 17.6 feet tall, which doesn't seem too crazy if you ask me, proper size, and is 44.29 feet long, which I think that's a little on the short end, but you know, not too bad, and you'd assume that the Giga is going to be bigger in both. But if we look at the Giga, what does it say here? Oh, it says that the Giga is only 15 feet tall. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I think there's something wrong with that. But may maybe the length is right. Uh, maybe it's just actually... Maybe it's not as tall, but maybe it's definitely longer. That's what I'm thinking. Only 42 feet. What the heck? Only 42 feet? Why is the Giga smaller than the T-Rex now? I know that. Like, what is this? Like, T-Rex is bigger in both stats. And even the Therizinosaurus is actually... Well, it's not longer, but no, it's the same height as the Therizinosaurus. What are they doing? And even more strange is at, with the Giga, actually, is one thing I didn't really mention when doing the this unboxing, this set right here, was the little art piece that was on the side. I mentioned the ones that are on the front featuring the dinosaur, but it also shows like them on the side. Now, for the T-Rex, it just shows part of its finger and its head, pretty much the exact same as it does on the front. 
However, for the Giga set actually, unlike that, it shows m more of its body because it's a bigger set, which means they can show a lot more. But strangely enough, in a close-up, you'll see that this Giga has three fingers instead of the two that the Lego piece has. They're just having a laugh themselves, Lego are. They make the Giga inaccurate in its size, not to mention the fact that it's missing a finger, and then they mock us with having the artwork on the box show it with three fingers. Lord knows what they're thinking, people. But we're, we're gonna get rid of this. Let's get them out. Oh God, don't, f what the, oh, oh. Okay, well, where's your mouth? Um. Okay, my Atrociraptor wasn't- is this normal? Uh, oh wait, no, I see it, it's in bag one. Okay, I was just about to have a heart attack. You can't do that to me, Atrociraptor. You're my first one and I'm like, where's his mouth? But also, Okay, so this says I feared, actually. The Atrociraptors and all these little figures don't actually have movable limbs, which is a bit of a shame. It does have its own mouth and stuff. You can open and close it, which is, thank God. But, you know, ooh, wow, that's a nice... T oh, so it's... Ooh, it doesn't separate, actually. Okay, that's cool. So it's got a rubber tail like the others, but actually it goes... Oh, no, this whole thing is actually rubber. Okay, that's cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this whole thing's rubber- Never mind, actually. I was gonna complain about this, but actually, it's not too bad for what it is. This thing is full rubber. It's actually got a rubber coating. Well, actually, the top does. I can see- I can actually see the line now where it separates, but... Yeah. It is plastic, and the top piece is pretty much all rubber. Atrocity Raptor looks pretty good, actually, and... You know what? I'm gonna waste no more time here, and I'm gonna get this guy, well, this whole set, built. So, let's just, where's bag one, bag three, and that's bag two, bag two. So only four bags, actually, much less than the other set. Now, let's get to building. Okay, one hour and ten minutes, I think, or somewhere around that, plus a dinner break later. Welcome to the Malta set. Yeah, this set is actually was a lot more fun to build than the other one like I like the other one I was having fun there, but this one just felt great to build like a smaller set It's definitely a lot smaller. I mean even though it only has like a couple hundred less pieces or so But I gotta say first thing I want to talk about let's talk about the dinosaurs which we get two as I mentioned which is the T-Rex and one of the four Atrociraptors, which I got, which I gotta say, actually, I really do like this paint job on the T-Rex. And if we compare her to the 2015 one, which 
I think is technically the first T-Rex we got. No, wait, no, no, that's not true. It's the second. The first one we got was from Dino Trackers. I do remember that. But if we compare them, I can definitely say that this one here, the new one, is a lot more like Rexy, especially for like the pattern on her compared to this one. I never understood this one. I like the sculpt and all, but just it didn't feel like Rexy. Also, I love the detail on the lips of like the scales and stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's not perfect, of course, and in fact, I'll probably end up painting this one to be like Rexy. I think that was one thing I was thinking when I bought this. I was like, well, I'm getting into painting. Let's paint this T-Rex to be accurate. Moving on to the Atrociraptor, which I gotta say, one thing I do like about these LEGO dinos in comparison to the others is how in scale they are compared to others. Because if we compare this one, oh god, I'm dropping it. If we compare this one to say, um, where is my LEGO blue? Ah, here it is. So, blue is a Velociraptor, and, well, that's kind of obvious, but if we look at Velociraptor in the movies, Velociraptor is usually the, a little taller, if not a li the same size, as humans. But, when you compare this, well, she's double their height. And that's what I like about this figure right here, of the Atrociraptor, because realistically, these two would be around the same size, at least from what the movies have shown us. But one thing I will say I really like is on the top here, the whole top piece of this, mainly the, I think it's just the orange, the, like there's a line that you can see that where it's been cut, that whole piece is rubber. Like always with the Lego um, dinosaurs, excuse me, old Rex, all the Lego ones have like the rubber end on the tail and you can obviously see that. But for this one, it's got it on the entire top, from the tail to the head, for like the entire orange bit. And the bottom is just regular plastic, I'm assuming? Yep, it's regular. Just compare that. Like, this is the bottom, and this is the top. Clearly different. Though, one thing I will say for a negative, actually, unfortunately, for this Tross Raptor, and I'm pretty sure it's the same with like, all the ones that have like this sort of sculpt is the um lack of um mobility because all you can do with these guys is open and close their mouths which actually looks really good with his mouth closed not gonna lie but unfortunately you can't move his arms or legs which makes him not really great for like you know posability i gotta say really good sculpt still and i love the paint job on this one except for you know no um claws or stuff painted which is unfortunate when the t-rex has but character wise we've got four characters in this owen and claire again which they're the same ones that we've seen in the others and i'm pretty sure they're the exact same as like every other version if we look at the new humans, the Rain and um, Sonya, I don't know what their roles are going to be in the movie yet. We haven't seen it yet, though we're so close, 17 days as of recording. But Sonya, from the looks, of, from what we know, most likely could be a Biosyn operative. Maybe she's like selling some of these dinosaurs at the black market or something to um, whoever runs it. Rain probably just works there and stuff, as we've seen him actually fighting Owen in one of the dino pits with a Lystrosaurus as a guest host in there, which is a weird thing, but, you know, who knows? I think Owen's gonna be fine, though, let's just be real. Doesn't say much about him. Also, speaking of Owen, actually, if we look at his character in the Lego set, he's got freaking cowboy guns! Well, he has one, but it comes with a second, which I know, I know you wanted to get him on riding a horse, chasing down Paras, full cowboy style, which Valley of Guanji, all for it. But did you really have to end up giving him actual blasters too? It's kind of weird. What's he gonna do? Freeze, Atrociraptor, hands in the air. Die, 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 die. I mean, I don't know, unless he gets enough shots on before it bounces on him. Even then, it's still gonna hurt him in the morning. But I don't think it would do much against here. Freeze, T-Rex! Ah, dead! And drops and knocked out Claire. And the T-Rex kills them all and takes the truck as well. Which, I gotta say, this truck we'll look at first actually looks really, really good. They actually do vehicles excellently in the Lego sets for this. Like, this truck looks excellent. It fits the Atrociraptor nicely. It's a shame that it doesn't come with like an extra trailer, like if you wanted to expand it for the T-Rex, 
but then again, they already did a set for that for Fallen Kingdom, but that's just me. But also the trailer is detachable, easily done, can open up with a little platform piece that you put your Atrociraptor in. If, if you just do it right, I'm pretty sure it's like, there we go, that's the right way. Now slide them in again, there you go, now the door will close. And also, I'm getting vibes of Jurassic Park's um, opening scene from this, because like, it has little slits where you can see inside, if you put enough light in. But I was looking through it early when I was building, and I was like, oh, this is the shot from Jurassic Park where you see the raptor's vision of Muldoon and stuff. That is awesome. But let's take this guy out, and yeah, just slide that out, put this back on, and you know, truck drives away, da-da-da, bye-bye. But we'll keep it there. And the main feature of this is the little multi-piece, which actually, fun fact, this is the first um, Lego set for, um, Jurassic World at least, that has sets that actually connect with other sets. For what I mean is if we get the um, uh, ghost atrociraptor, let me just grab it from my little cubby hole full of Lego sets, this one, this set is another one that's set in Malta with this one having ghost the atrociraptor, and again Owen with his same clothing, and also Rain again, so why is Rain, okay. Another thing I'll mention first before I continue with this is why do we have Rain in two sets? Like, he's not that big of a character from what the movie's telling us, but even if he is, why not switch his character with someone else? Like, Barry. Like, Barry's gonna be in Malta. Why not have him in one of these sets? Like, it would be really nice, but I, I don't know. They're missing a lot of characters for this. Like, Zia's in the junior set, so you have to spend money on another set. And Barry's not even in any of these sets, I just realized, which they've got to do another way for other characters, really. But this, back to, oh god, I just full-on destroyed this Atrociraptor's day. Uh, if we just put him back, sorry about that Atrociraptor, excuse me, blue. If we look at the set, it's pretty similar to this function, but actually, this set will connect to this once they're both built. There's going to be a little piece that actually connects them together, so it's one, like, larger set if you get them all, of course, you know what I mean. But, yeah, in this set, it's actually a decent job, actually, for what it is. I will say, though, these this cage door is a little too short, because it's supposed to be the same one that we saw the Carnotaurus and Allosaurus in, in the Dominion trailers, but, like, since if we... The Carnotaurus figure is actually, like, around the same height as the T-Rex, actually. It should be realistically all the way up to here, realistically. But, you know, for what it is, it's a good set. You can have your T-Rex encaged in here, and you can actually have it break through, like, Ah, yeah! A T-Rex comes out and goes for the Atrociraptor, picks it up, another raptor slain by the T-Rex, and she wins, obviously. Rain and Owen are already dead, Claire's not, doesn't have a weapon to defend herself, and the truck lady's driving away to the edge of the world. We long live the truck. Oh, ri <laughs> really, just as soon as I say the well, why do I say that? I knew that was going to happen. Uh, stretch again. Uh, what is this, the meme of Rexy's Gaming Bro? All I do is stretch. Yeah, okay, so she definitely long lived the truck, but yeah, T-Rex wins, obviously. And thus ends the Lego set for the T-Rex and Atrociraptor breakout set, or T-Rex Atrociraptor dinosaur breakout set. Why did they add the dinosaur? It just ruins the tongue roll. But if you've enjoyed this set, guys, is this one of your favorites of the Dominion ones? I apologize for these taking a while. They do well, take a while to build sometimes. I'm a little bit rusty, I'll admit. And also, they take a while to edit and stuff. Plus, you know, I have school and stuff, so it's not on my number one priority. I'm sorry, it's killing me as much as you. We will be doing more of these sets a lot more. We'll do the Quetzalcoatlus next, but until then, guys, if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more LEGO unboxings, as well as the Mattel toys we still haven't unboxed yet that I have, leave a like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're almost at 3,000 subscribers. We're not going to make my... 
original Dominion goal, but please let's get to 3,000 before Dominion comes out. I have my ticket for opening day. I hope you guys do too. And remember guys, do not spoil anything. Do not be that person. And until next time, be safe and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.